afternoon and welcome to Bill and Tech. Yeah, I just want to show you this afternoon how to install testing automation, automation testing environment on your local server, Cucumba, Gakens and Capybara to start testing and using Cucumba. And first and foremost, we will start by installing Ruby and uh, this I must tell you the most uh, Apple comes default with Ruby and to start with we need a Ruby installed on our Mac we need test editor we need a uh, browser to start let's check on the Ruby version by typing Ruby dash V on our system and the current version of my Ruby is uh, 2.4.0 so after this we need to install a package installer and this will we go by installing homebrew type homebrew brew on uh, google and to bring you to this page just go on this place copy this and paste it in your directory here then press enter on your keyboard after this we will need to install the chrome driver we need to install the chrome driver after this just to install the chrome, chrome driver just type brew install chrome driver and press enter and it will bring you to this place press enter I just installed that's so why I don't want to press on the other side. When you press enter, I install all this for you and bring you to this place. So after installing, bring install Chrome driver. The next thing you need to do is our project rely on number of gems for it to function. And Bundler is a great tool for managing all the gem dependency that we're going to use. So let's start by installing a bundle by typing in gem install bundle and press enter. I've already installed bundle and that's why I don't want to press enter now. Then fourth, let's set up a directory for our project by seeding, by making a new directory for our project. You can call it any name. This maybe I'll just call it um Amazon or eBay. Let me just call it eBay. Let me say e. Let me say make directory mkdir eBay. Then let me see it to eBay. You can see it just come to my desktop now. Then change directory to eBay now. So that will be in the other directory. Now this is the in thing. Now the shortcut for setting up Kumba is by typing Kumba dash dash in it what this would do what this command will do for us is it will set up all the folders we need the step the features the step definition and the environment variable folder that we need we can create this manually that we need in our in our testing that we need to set up our gems and all the things good Press enter and see what happens. You see, it just created a features for us. Create future step definition, create future support, create future support environment. And these files, that is where in this environment we, we add some things to it and the support and the definition will be where our steps for our features will reside. So right now, let's open with our test editor. Can click sublime dot I'm using sublime test and that will bring me to this place. You can see it brings me open eBay and you see inside my features you can see step definition folder and step and the environment file that this this that we created in this place you can see it here this is it this is it so now we need to initialize 
our init file, our gem file itself that we will use in compiling our gem where our gems will be stored. So to do that, just write bundle, type in bundle in it and see what happens. See, write a new gem file. If you look at our folder, a gem file has been added. You see? Now this is where we had our gem. This is the sub. This is the mm, this is where it begins. The work begins now, initiate initializing everything. Now to begin, let's type in gem. We need three gems, capybara. We need cucumber, we need selenium web driver. The first, let's put in capybara. Capybara. Second, let's put in cucumber gem. Cucumber. Third, let's put in selenium web driver. Selenium web driver. We are good to go. You this gem file, you can add as many gems that you need for testing. But to begin, these are the three ones we that are important for now. So save it and go to this place. Then run bundle install on your terminal. Bundle install on your terminal and then install this file. If you have not typed in bundle install, the file is not yet installed. So Click enter and you see what happens. Great. You will notice in this place, these are all the gems that are installed with this init command. Now, see our uh, Zelenium has been installed, we have the current one, Kukuba has been installed, Happy Barra has been installed, which is great. You will notice a gem lock file has appeared alongside the gem file which is this can you see and this means that the project now are the record of the exact gem fashion that you are currently use we are currently using in this place can you see now so let's go to our cucumber project it's now time to set up the project the first thing we need to do is create our features has been created anyway so now we need to create a feature A feature file to do the to, to make it faster this is what I do I've already copied after installing this to make it faster I will need to install this file that I've already copied this command in my I've already copied this environment file you need to install this environment file let me just copy and paste this environment file to be faster we need this environment file in this place in this environment file yeah to be faster I don't want to write right right so I just write in this place see, this environment files help us it's what it does it required the capybara that we just the gem capybara we just created the uh, required selenium web drive that we just created capybara capybara default driver selenium Barra app all in so it's linking to our Google so this place you can get it because we have a uh, Chrome driver installed. Copy barra user driver selenium do or let's copy selenium driver that's so good. This is environment file. So with this setup now, all we need to do is to start creating our feature file, which we will go on later. But for now, I will stop here. I hope you find this helpful. Your folder is now set up. All you need to do is start creating your feature file. Just create features, then step, create your step in this folder and run it. I will get back later. I hope you find this useful. With this, you've successfully installed Capybara testing automation environment on your system. Thank you for viewing. Thank you.